Welcome, I am John Lira, and in this demo, I want to focus on showing you the command line utilities or the commands that we can also use as Power Center users. We have been using the GUI interface, and for example, here is the workflow. We have been consistently starting workflows from a GUI, but you may want to get away from the GUI and do scripting. Well, for that, we've got to understand the commands. So let me just cheat a little bit. The course writer under the local disk student level 2 has given us already a file that I'm just going to open. And notice it, he, has, he has already given us a file that has various commands in it so that we don't have to do it all from scratch. And for example, the one that I'm going to work with is the ping services. So watch, I am not going to follow the first part of it. So I'm just going to open it up and let me just open it up this way. This is a text file there because it's smaller. I'm going to bring up a command and what I want to do is execute the command the pinging of services to see what services are available. So this is the one that I want to execute the ping service and first of all I'm going to show you that there's an error. So I've gone into the server of, inf of where Power Center is installed and I'm merely going to execute let me point to the command so that you can see it. I'm going to execute exactly what's in there. Info, CMD, and ISP, and ping. There it is. There's an error. Well, why? Because I don't have the environment path settings, so it cannot find the info CMD command. So without setting the environment variables that that file has right above it, I have to go ahead and find where the product is installed. So I know that it's probably installed under Informatica. Notice here, there I have it. So we need to go into where Informatica is installed and where are you? Uh, so notice it's much easier if we had gone and just merely pointed where the product is installed. Let me do one more directory. And where are you Informatica? Where is the Informatica installed? I really thought it was install under Informatica. There it is. And then we got to go to the version number. Do you see how much work this is? I should have just set in the environment variables. And then here it should be server where the commands are. And finally bin. So if I do a while search for InfoCMD, you'll see that it's right there. In this case, it's a batch file for Windows, a uh, shell script for Unix. Now I can go ahead and execute it. InfoCMD ISP and then ping. Now I need to have the flags minus D for the domain name. What is the domain name? Well, the course writer has been gracious enough to give it to me already. If not, you would go to the probably designer and just find that or ask your administrator. So I will enter domain underscore info dash server and unless I made a typo, it should now return and say, ah, there it is. Domain was successfully. Now you can go ahead and execute other commands, but what I, what I would recommend is that first you set up the environment variables. So I could quickly just go ahead, copy, and go to my script, paste them, and execute them. Now notice, now if I did that correctly, if I were to enter info cmd, and remember the command was isp ping, now it should work. I didn't have to specify the domain and why? Because the environment variables already have that. And in your labs, you're going to do this more extensively, just looking at some of the commands, the pinging, the list, the service details. And to actually execute and run a workflow, we're going to connect to the repository server that we're using. And then we're actually going to go ahead and use the PMCMD command, start workflow. And of course, you've got to properly set in the integration service the username, the password, and the folder, and then the workflow. And if you were to execute this correctly, then the workflows will now be running from the command task window. And then you can script this into batch or shell script, schedule them, integrate them to third-party schedulers, etc. So that is the demo that I had in mind for the command line utilities, and thank you.